You're listening to Beauty, Strength, and Dominance, the official podcast of Lingerie Fighting Championships. And now, here's your host, Michael Larkin! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another edition of Beauty, Strength, and Dominance, the official LFC Lingerie Fighting Championships podcast. My name is Mike Larkin, and joining me once again is none other than B-Rocks herself, Ms. Bella Rockefeller. How are you, Bella? Hey, I'm doing well, Michael. How are you? Long time no chat. I know, right? It has been a while since I've had you on the show. The last time you and I talked on this here program was going into your first bout with Bella Madison at LFC 35 Booty Camp 3D. And you've done a lot since then. And I will say this, both bouts that we've seen with yourself and Bella Madison and Shaylin, LFC 35 and LFC 36, respectively, killed it on both ends, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Unfortunately, I took a loss, but I can, I promise you guys, like, I'm coming back stronger and better than ever. So whoever I'm up against the next time is going to get it. They better fucking watch the fuck out because I'm on a rampage right now. This is a Bella Rockefeller rampage season. Let me just warn you right now. I mean, I bet. And I mean, I'm going to say this right now, first and foremost, as being in the ring for the first one, you and Bella Madison, after Bella Madison's hand was raised and you straight up gave her the finger right afterwards. I'm going to say this right now. The tension was in the air, my friend. Yeah, of course. I mean, what kind of like, you know, shit talking, you know, bullshit like that, like whatever, whatever, you know. I feel you. There was a lot of breastuses and faces and a lot of running around the ring at LFC 35. I got to say that was one of the highlights of the night. And for the first bout that you two ever had together, the chemistry was there. So we'll start there with LFC 35 because that's where we ended off the last time. How did that feel getting in there? The LFC Madness final in Bella Madison. Talk about it. Well, it was great, actually. It felt really good to be able to take out that aggression that I had built up on her. Yep. You know, like, all of the shit-talking and everything that we had before, like, really, really built up inside of me. So I'm glad I was able to, like, you know, fuck her up a little bit, to be honest with you, because it was it was a great way to channel that aggression. Let's talk about these entrances here, because first and foremost, it starts off with LFC 35, folks, because your entrances, the dominatrix, the very Madonna human nature type vibes that I get from you. Let's talk about these entrances here, because you have probably now one of the most definitive and defining entrances in LFC now. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. got that money, 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 and you got the old dominatrix vibe to it. You got your little pet. Talk about the entrance. How'd you come up with it? Because it is something that a lot of LFC fans love. Well, you know, I really got into this industry to show my dominance over men. So I figured, why not make that part of my entrance and get a little man puppy? You know, I mean, like, I didn't have any trouble finding one. I didn't have any trouble finding number two. I am working on finding number three. I'm having a little contest going for my man puppy number three. So, you know, if any any of your fans are interested, send me an email, bellarockefeller at gmail.com. Taking applications for man puppy number three. Promise I will treat you well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. Even in the LFC 36 booty camp four, that was probably one of the most definitive moments. Again, standing in the ring. Boom. Here you come with your man puppy once again. And here you're fighting someone. It's the roles are reversed here with Sinister Shay Lynn, who also is coming off a loss to Sheena Bathory. Somebody needed to get a win here. It was palpable. It was that time. I want to talk about Sinister Shay Lynn because you two, much like Bella Madison, have great chemistry together. She put up a good fight. I was actually a little bit taken by surprise. Um, she, again, like, I, there was a part where I just, like, she just had me. She had me by the by the hair or by the neck or something like that. I don't even remember. But um, it was a very short and sweet fight. Um, and I don't think that I got enough time in the ring with her. And I am definitely, definitely looking to go up against her again. Um, I just don't think that my cards went well, for, played well for me that night, um, unfortunately. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But I'm telling you, when I come back, I'm not losing. Not, not for nothing, not for no one. Y'all better watch out. 
I will say this. You kind of remind me with where you are right now, unfortunately, on the 0-2 side here. It reminds me of Jenny Bloody Valentine, who we saw in the main event against Jolene at the last booty game. Jenny started with losses, and then she finally gets that win. You're on the trajectory right now with Jenny Bloody Valentine. And I think the next uh, one that you have as far as fight goes, I think you're going to get the W. I'm rooting for you. Yeah, I mean, hello. We got to get that in there somewhere, right? <laughs> yep, exactly. And I think whoever you're matched up with, I think a lot of people, and I mean, here's the funny part about it. You talk about the shit talk on Bella Madison. I'm going to say the shit talk with Shay Lynn. She said that she was going to rock a bitch when it came to fighting you. So, I mean, there's a lot of shit talking going into that yeah, one as well. I said I was going to drop that bunny, and I sure as fuck dropped that bunny, you yes, know? She did. Yes, she did. And I mean, I look at it from the stands too as well. Man, I got to say this, as far as some of the best cards here, folks, go out of your way. Watch LFC 35, LFC 36. A lot of promising talent, and especially with this last one, we had Andre Shakti, Angelica Coe coming all the way from Italy, Courtney Coco Loco Pemberton. I got to say, I was really, really excited. I was really happy with how everything turned out. Mike the Truth Jackson as a judge, return of Monica Garcia, Veronica Valentine on the judges' side. I thought each and everybody killed it on the home front. I got to say, what an event, right? Killing it. Totally fucking killed it. Everybody loved it. Let's do it again soon. I'm ready. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I got to say, the pleasure and one of the bright spots of my weeks there for LFC 35 and LFC 36 was seeing your face finally get to meet you in person. I got to say, folks, I come into the FSW arena. First face I see, B-Rock's over here giving the hug. I got to say, it was a bright spot. I knew it was going to be a good night, Bella Rockefeller. Hell yeah. <laughs> it sure was. It was such a blast. And that's what everybody could get when it comes to LFC Laundry Fighting Championships. And I'm going to say this as far as a blast goes. If those go to LFCFights.com, you get to see a VIP membership of a little show called Get Wet. And you were the first guest on Get Wet with Audrey Monique and Terry Feisty Fislon. And I got to say, very great episode. You told a lot about some sensual vibes and a lot of stuff that went in there. A lot of fun, a lot of games. You killed it on the Get Wet side of things. The, oops, sorry about that. Uh, thank you very much. And I would like to wish you all to come and get wet with me. Come watch the episode. Uh, it was a great time. <laughs> They're such great girls. And like, you know, who doesn't want to, you know, look at a bunch of hot chicks and then swim so, so get over there. Check it. <laughs> You gotta do it. <laughs> Absolutely. And I gotta say, rocking the healthy male gear, becoming one of the best doggone sponsors for LFC. Thank Shout out to the healthy. <laughs> Right. And that's the thing, too. And I'm going to say this right now. We got to talk about this healthy male here because you were a part of some of the best doggone bloopers in the history of LFC in these commercials. Toughen up that little problem of yours. Everything that came along with those commercials, you were a part of some of the funniest bloopers ever in the history of LFC commercials. Yeah, you know, that's what kind of inspired me when I made my own um, little series for them. I don't know how many of the videos have actually been released, but I know a few of them have. But they're all very cheesecake, very funny, very like accidental like oh ooh, what is that poking me is that a sausage or what is that you know so <laughs> like the bloopers were definitely um an inspiration for me to write the, the little cheesy scripts that i wrote for the other healthy male video promos no, there's been a lot that has been released. You guys can check out the four-part series of all the girls in their bloopers. You can check out this one over here doing some unboxing. And I got to say, the, also the cheesy one of, you know, is that a sausage? Everything that goes into that is funny, is great, but it's healthy male all at the same time. Yeah, go healthy male. <laughs> 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 and I think with everything that we get to see here as well, besides the LFC front, you're killing on also a lot of many levels. And even I talked about this. I got to say, you and Madison Swan have a great chemistry together, where it's pudding stuff or oil stuff, what have you. She's another beauty on the scene. So I want to talk about Madison Swan doing yeah. her thing on the session front. Talk about the chemistry of Madison Swan. My ducky, my little ducky. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she and I met on um, Glam. Again, shooting for glam. I just seem to meet like the best girls with the glam. And just in case glam mud wrestling, in case you guys haven't checked it out, it's fucking fantastic. It's like 80s cheesy, like, oh no, like, oh, there's like monsters and lightning and character storylines. It's super, super, super fun. So I met Ducky there and she and I ended up going on a tour together and doing really well, bonding really close. I consider her a sister to me now. Um, and yeah, we actually just spent Christmas together. So yeah, real ducky. 
<laughs> well, that's the thing, too. I think along the way with what you get to do with sessions in LFC, there's a lot of friendships and relationships that develop. And I'm going to say right now, since you mentioned Christmas, folks, I hope you all had a great Christmas because we're ending 2022. We are now officially in 2023. And I'm going to say as far as LFC goes, I think 2023 will be the year of you, Miss B-Rocks, Bella Rockefeller. Can't wait to see it. I know it's going to be killer. And folks, LFC 37 back to the mansion is coming up on Valentine's Day. Now, I'm going to say this to you, Bella Rockefeller. Is there any way to spend Valentine's Day with a little lovely women as far as beating ass and kicking names and looking sexy in the process? I, I think LFC, I, right? I could not imagine anything sweeter, especially with like, you know, everybody's got a little different flavor to them. So it's like, you know, you got your little box of chocolates. You never know which one you're going to get, you know? <laughs> Thank you, Forrest Gump. Yes. <laughs> But no, that, that, it's, it's very true. I think with LFC, with so many of the girls, and this is why I love each and every one of you, a lot of uniqueness and a lot of different you know, perspectives on a lot of things, and I think it's absolutely wonderful. And speaking of something that's wonderful, he put it out today. It's on the Instagram front. It's on the Twitter front. Tommy Bell, you were one of his first drawings of January 2023, and he has drawn that piece of you from LFC 36, the man puppy, that entrance, and it's looking fantastic so far. Tommy Bell, hell yeah. I not wait for that to be like printed on t-shirts on mugs on stickers on everything i'm gonna possibly print it on so when that design is ready make sure you are ready at your keyboard to click buy because i'm about to bust out some merch it's gonna be great <laughs> And let's be honest, folks, who does not want to have Bella Rockefeller on a T-shirt and you're rocking it, right? Who doesn't, right? I don't know. It's a good question. You know, I, I don't know if I want to know them. <laughs> exactly. I'm just <laughs> saying. That's the beautiful part of what we get to see, the merchandise and everything that goes into what we do. <laughs> <laughs> well here's the thing man everything that we got to go to do man nyc you are in my part here i'm from long island new york the great state of new york you're doing your sessions tour how's that going for you so far man great we got snow today yes, apparently it's the first snow of the season and i just happened to catch it outside like taking my walk to the metro um i'm absolutely loving it out here i had no idea that i would have um so many like loyal followers and fans out in the, in the New York City area. I'm happy to, I'm so happy to be here. You know, I'm living out in Santa Cruz right now and it's just being devastated by the rains and I live in the forest. So I have friends who have like literal redwood trees falling in on their houses right now. And I'm just really happy to not have to deal with that at the moment. And when I get back, if there's anything, I'll know when I get back, you know, <laughs> it's like putting it on the back burner. I'm going to go to Puerto Rico for a week. I'm going to go get some sun. I'm going to, yeah, take it easy. This is my Christmas vacation to myself. Hey, I'm all about that. You could be like J-Lo in Puerto Rico and let's get loud. I like your style. I like your vibes. Absolutely. Everybody needs a vacation. But yeah, man, you go from you go from Santa Cruz. You're talking about California, IA, from the West Coast. Now you're on the East Coast, man, and getting that snow. You know what I'm saying? As it always is. So you go from rain to snow. Oh my goodness! It's okay though. I, you know, it's just light, light, light snow right now. And you know, I think I'm gonna make this like a monthly stop for me. I think I'm gonna just do like that, the red eye from Sa San Francisco to New York overnight. Beautiful five and a half hour flight. Wake up. I'm in New York City. I can't. I can't. I can't not do it. Such a nice, yeah, it's great. But I'll be here once. <laughs> I'm right there with you. So the last couple of times when I did the ring announcement for LFC, y'all take the red flight from like red eye flight from like Myrtle Beach to Charlotte to Vegas, then Vegas to Charlotte to Myrtle Beach. It's so again, it's like five hours, the same amount of distance, but it's worth it because then you're in the 702 where my girls at from the front to back with some LFC and some Las Vegas, Nevada, baby. Ah, I love that, Michael. <laughs> It's the truth, you know what I'm saying? I got to say, I mean, people say what they will about red eyes. It's not fun, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's cool because once you hit the destination, it's worth it. Yeah, I'm going to have you rap on one of my tracks, though. For real. Hey, I don't know about that, man. I'm not much of a rapper, but, you know, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll say it like that. Right. That's a good shit right there. I mean, I know it's not original, but you got flow. You Thank can do you. I, I mean, hey, I, I know I'm, uh, you know, I'm internationally known, and I know how to rock the microphone. It takes two. No, but yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> no, I digress. But no, that's the thing, too. I guess you could call me like B-Rat. For those that remember Malibu's Most Wanted, I may be white, but my rhymes is tight. There you go. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> B-Rat. Yeah. <laughs> 
but that's the beautiful thing. Well, also, first, hold on. We got to talk about this music here, man, because for those who have not checked out Bella Rockefeller's music, got that money, probably one of my favorite tracks when it comes to LFC now. You added an LFC 35 and LFC 36. Are we going to have some more music from We got to get a new single from you before it comes to oh, LFC. Definitely. I'm working on, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm working on one right now. Um, it's called Head Games. I like it. It's pretty, you know, pretty apt to what it talks about. I should have that coming out in the next couple of months, hopefully. Absolutely. And I'm going to say this right now. I mean, here's here's what's also great about it. And here's what I love about you and Bella Madison. First of all, you were the first two LFC fighters in the history of LFC that actually came out to your own music, which is freaking awesome. the first. Okay. You were the first. Okay. Yes, I know. We they had you guys had this feud about hey, so now you want to steal my idea. We I know the, the Twitter exchange, I remember. Yeah. I'm first. You are. You're number one. Two is not a winner, three nobody remembers. Put on some Nelly. Training day, baby. But <laughs> I can't, I can't stop it. But no, that's the thing too. It's just uh, you absolutely were number one in that front, and then Bella Madison followed suit. But no, that was the great part about it. I think everything that went into those bouts, and we talk about the future of the LFC and back to the mansion on Valentine's Day, folks. If you've not checked your calendar for LFC, 2023 is going to be a big year. Look for Bella Rockefeller at one of these future events. I'm excited. I always enjoy just your overall flow, your personality. Hey yo, because when it comes to you, Bella Rockefeller, you always put on a show. Yes, that's what I'm here for. Yep, <laughs> yep. Mo, 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 mo. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm about. It. Absolutely. <laughs> I got to ask you, because, I mean, there's rematches here. Bella Madison, Shay Lynn, you got to see a lot of talent on LFC 35 and LFC 36. Is there anybody else that you're scouting? Anybody else that you want to get into the ring with? That I want to get into the ring with? Yes, ma'am, who you've been scouting. There's a lot of great talent in LFC. Yeah, you know, I haven't really put a lot of thought into it. I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. I mean, yeah. I, you know what? I honestly haven't thought about it. Like, nobody's got beef with me. I think Andre, Andre's talk to would be really fun. Uh, I don't know who else, really. Fair enough. Yeah. I, I got to say, I think whoever you go into the ring, it's going to be a special bout and a memorable bout. Andre Shakti would actually be very sweet because Andre Shakti also comes from the LFC Madness. Same with Angelica Cohen. They put on a hell of a banger in the opening bout of LFC 36, Booty Camp 4. Yeah. Got, Andre's got these long legs that I just want to like wrap up like a pretzel and bend yes. back. So yes. Oh I my goodness. Take her on. I got to say, there's actually something that's very special. And I mean, I put it in the show when I had her on. Courtney Coco Loco Pemberton, not only can she fight, but she can edit and she puts on a great highlight package. There's a nice little spot of the late you and all the ladies backstage. You're shaking your booty, you're twerking, you're doing your thing thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coco's so creative. She's one of them, I think. You know, she's like doing all kinds of music videos and yeah, she's got a definite creative touch. And I think that's what's great about the extension of LFC. Everybody goes on so many different uniqueness and preferences. And I think that's great, the extension that LFC has for a lot of great women, whether they've been in wrestling, MMA, some adult work, fetish modeling. I think there's that variety there and it really sticks to our overall product. That's the thing is like we come from all walks of life. There's no judgment in what you do, and you're just there to have a good time and kick some ass, and that's what we come in and we do. And we, you know, we're happy, you're happy, everybody's happy, right? Yeah, I, the way I look at it is it's the, <laughs> the way I look at it. It's the representation of your presentation. And what I love about it, too, as well, whether you're a ring announcer, whether you're on commentary, whether you're fighting, everybody has that piece and that glue that makes a show and the production very well. So, I mean, representation of your presentation, baby. Right. Even Tommy Bell, you know, like the, yes. his art is so important to everything that we do as well. And who would have known that it would have come together like that? It's a beautiful thing. It's the same thing with him. Like, he was such a great judge at LFC 35, along with, you know, Onyx from WOW and everything that came into fruition there with Andre, Andre the Storm Bladoy. Like, everybody that came into the judges' table also killed it. And I'm going to say this right now with Mike the Truth Jackson, especially. I got to say, Joel Kane has got a lot of balls for those that saw it with Sheena Bathory and um, Bella Madison, that whole everything that happened after the fight. Got into Mike the Truth Jackson's face, pretty much said on our show that he's a stupid idiot for going, <laughs> for going with Sheena. Got right yeah. in the true Jackson's face, Bella Rockefeller. Well, you know, I think it's, I mean, Sheena's just a fucking badass, and you know, she's not good at losing. Mm -hmm. Yep. She's not used to it, you know? Okay. So, 
that is what it is. But you win some, you lose some. What can I say? That is true. And I think with the addition of the healthy male team as well, because we've got the black team, the pink team, the blue team, now the healthy male team. We got so many teams now in LFC as well, the expansion. Really? Yep. Did I move teams? I don't even, am I on healthy male team? Like what? I don't even know, man. Here's well, here's what we have. We have the new healthy male team being introduced. What the hell does that even? That's the news to me. I don't even know. Okay, well, we got the healthy male team going. It's been on the LFC for more information. Go to lfcfights.com. I will. I will. I'll, I will. I will. Somebody I'll, get me in the loop. Where's I'll the loop? Fill, Can I'll I find fill, it? I'll fill you in after the show. But no, that's that's what we have now. It's the new healthy male team. Oh, yeah, we got so many teams. But no. <clears throat> That's the amazing part of LSD. We keep growing. We keep expanding. Oh, my God. So we, <laughs> we have a lot in store with Lingerie Fighting Championships. Oh, my God. This Well, no, this reminds me of everybody. Every time we promote the Roku <laughs> on the show, and some people don't have Roku, and I say, well, hey, I'll become a VIP member and see the podcast and see all the great content for those who have the Roku. Well, you should have the Roku. Whoever doesn't have the Roku, get yourself on Roku because we got a lot of great content. Roku. 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 Not to be confused with Hoku. Another dumb blonde because it's not me. No, no. It's a perfect day. Nothing standing in my way. I can't stop it. So it's one of those things where if you've not become an LFC fan and you want to be introduced to a great product, go to LFCfights.com. And by the way, to update you as well, to also put you in the loop here, Miss Bella Rockefeller. Put me in the loop. I'm putting you in the loop. Tell me where. Tell I'm me telling where. You. I'm telling you. So mm-hmm. y'all can go to the LFC YouTube channel, Lingerie Fighting Championships. If you want to see the full fight, it's up now. Bella Madison and Bella Rockefeller from LFC 35. Go to the YouTube and check it on out. Because you're up there, Bella Rockefeller. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> what I will say is check out Bella Rockefeller, wherever you get her on all forms of social media. And I'm going to say this right now, Bella Rockefeller. I love you. I respect you. You're a dear friend of mine. And I can't wait to see you back in LFC. And we'll definitely... Love- Michael, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everyone. Merry Christmas. 2023 is the year of the Rockefeller, so y'all better watch out, okay? I'll see yep. you in <laughs> Yep, yep. And before we close this out, man, you got, you're got you all over social media. You're on the Twitter. You're on the Instagram. Um, Let us know where we can follow you, Bella Rockefeller. Well, you got me on Instagram, Bella underscore Rockefeller underscore. On Twitter, it's Bella Rockefeller. Instead of a four, instead of an A at the end, it's a four, okay? B-E-L-L-A-R-O-C-K-A-F-E-L-L-4. Kind of looks like an A, right? Um, you can find me on OnlyFans, Bella Rockefeller. You can find me on Session Girls. Bella Rockefeller is my name. Don't wear it out, okay? Book a session with Bella Rockefeller as well, because the last time we were talking, you were coming in from two sessions and overall putting some molly whopping on some people is what you were doing, Bella Rockefeller. We talked about this. You're, you're sessioning out over there, killing everybody. Yeah, killing it in New York. I'm ready to, you know, kick ass and take names over here. So I'll get your name on the list. I'm here for a couple more weeks. Let's do this. <laughs> yup, yup. Oh, I cannot wait to see what the future holds. 2023 is the year of Bella Rockefeller. Don't wear the name out. She is one of the best here in the lingerie fighting championships. And as I always say to close out this show, beauty, strength, and dominance, the three key elements that make the women the work of art that they are. And Bella Rockefeller, I include you in those sentiments. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Michael. Bye. 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 Bye.